gonna... Hey guys, so today we are going to listen from the word of the Lord from the book of Psalms. I hope you have <coughs> opened Psalms chapter 23. All we are going to read all all the chapter. You can help me if you are there. I'm I'm pretty sure you are there. So I'm going to read for you. And you are going to write a comment what you have learned about it. You can you can memorize it and write it without looking and send a video. Okay, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet, quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength he guides me guides me in the right path paths as he has promised even if i i go through the deepest darkness i will not be afraid lord for you are with me you 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 are shepherds rod wood and staff protect me you prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me you welcome me as an honored guest and filled my cup to the brim I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. So so from the chapter I am going to preach to you I learned about the first point is that the Lord is the Lord will be with all uh, will be with us when we are in situation just remember God is with us and I want you to just go and preach to your friend what I've, what I'm going to preach to you today so the second point is God is preparing a place for all of us I hope you are listening what I'm saying. God is preparing. So if you do good things, God is preparing a good place for all of us. When you do bad manners, you've been punished by your parents or God. Even when you hide, God is seeing you. And I've come here to, to preach to you, to encourage, to encourage people to not be afraid of anything. Just be afraid of God. Be afraid of God only. Don't be afraid of anything. Be afraid of God only. Because when you, when you are afraid of people, I mean afraid of Satan, God will punish you thoroughly. So it's important that you should always listen to what they say and you should always trust in God always and trust in your parents. When you are
So, I mean, to heal you, to heal you and to protect you. The Satan is no longer, Satan is no longer controlling us. It's only God. We we can make it, can make it with this Corona. People are going in church. I hope you know it. And the sixth thing that we must know, we should always thank God for what he has done for us. We should thank God for what he has provided. When you you don't like Gideri and some people want those foods and you, you are wasting them. So it's, it's your point. It's your health and it's your decision. If you don't want to eat, you don't want you have your parents are provided for for you food and you you are not seeing and the seventh point the last one that as we are sheep of God and the Lord is our shepherd he's seeing us he's in heaven God will give us the angels will protect us even the Lord John 3.16 it says that Jesus Jesus sent his son to come and bury himself and then we have there so I hope you learned something from there I hope you also do the same you should you should spread, spread the gospel and and uh, and love God. And love God. Trust in Him and live for God. Don't live for anyone else. Just live for God. And I and God will bless you. And I hope all of you you shall be good girls, good people in the country whenever you are never you are in you will say uh, at home at Ushago at anywhere at Mombasa you should also know that God loves you and when this corona this corona came we had many situations i see that many people they are not going to their to do work because of this corona there is curfew and i see that people are drunk they they, they are drunk up to night at curfew so it's important that you keep time when when last last month we it the curfew was at seven so people were late but I uh, we could also make it so uh, you should also know that in the book of Psalms all of it God God is speaking through the through us and he's giving us the 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 word to preach to other people like me God has speaks to me I have prayed now God has told me what I I should do Nobody has told me to preach. I've, God has told me to do this. So I have preached to you. I want you the same. You preach to other people as I preach to you. So if you if you if you see somebody fighting, lying, do, doing bad manners, 
I hope you will tell them the good news that I've told you. Carry a Bible with you. Every single day I want you to read the Bible. Two full chapters. I have said two full chapters at every Psalms. When you finish, comment and say you have finished the book of Psalms. I'll see what you have written in the comments. And I hope you'll share and subscribe for more videos. Bye for now. I hope you have enjoyed it and preach to other the good news. Bye for now. Bye.